Hello, John Britt here. Today we're going to do uh, just kind of uneven cups, uh, like sort of uncentered and wobbly. And uh, so I'll show you, like this would be a, the opposite of what we're making, the, like a normal straight up cup. Uh, but today we're going to make stuff that's like super uneven and uh, cattywampus and, uh, you know, weird looking. So here's like, a, here would be a sample of one, like when it's spinning on there, it's super uneven. So what, what we'll do, a couple ways to do it. One way is to put this bat on. What I try to do with this is I try to center the top, that way I showed in another video, you just center this, then you can turn it over, put it down. Now I don't even need to center this, because I did that, I can go to the bottom and open it pretty quick and make it kind of spirally without uh, having to go in there with a wooden rib and smooth it out. And then I just proceed to do a pull, but there's no concern about centering. And we'll just let that thing be weird. And then I just do my pull. So you get a little, you kind of loosen up on if it's good or bad. You just want it to be uh, a shape, you know, a shape, not necessarily a perfect shape. So then sometimes what I'll do is I'll come in with my rib. And uh, one way to do it is to just pulse pulse your tools on it, or like I could push this out some there, push this in some, push that out a little, and then you know you can sort of just create what the way you want it to look. Okay, and another way would be to. This way involves a little more centering. We're going to center this a little bit. And now we'll do our opening. This one will finish, we'll do the bottoms, compress that a little. And now, in order to get that to be a little more uneven, I'm going to get the top sort of the way I want it. And then I will push in here, and now I'm going to come in and smush this around. And that will, then when I pull across that, then you see how my rim and everything becomes uneven because I had smushed it around a little. Okay, so those are two ways, and then I would do the same thing with this. I might come in with this. Sometimes, you know, another way you can do it is instead of holding your hands still and steady, you just sort of let them, you let them move around. You don't, you don't, you go, Whoa. okay, and that's it. So that's all we got today. Try to make about 100 of those, and we'll see you tomorrow.